Hi everyone, it's Eric Goins from Flywheel Studio here, and I have a quick tutorial about using plus and minus buttons to manage quantities in an ordering app. So in this example, we're using a restaurant app, but this could be an inventory app or any app where you have an order quantity. And in the past for this, what we had is when somebody orders through this, uh, adding a, uh, we have a list of the menu items here, what they'll do is it, we take them to menu variants. And menu variants is important because we want to give people the ability to customize their order, especially in the restaurant industry. And we want to make sure that those customizations are at an order item level. If somebody orders three cheeseburgers and uh, asks for pickles, they might not mean that they want pickles on every single cheeseburger. So by having this looping process of adding things and then customizing them, that makes it easier for people to uh, make sure they get the order they want. And it's easier for your restaurant to make sure that you're delivering everything. But in the event that you don't want that, what I've done here is when you uh, click this button, let's get that selected. Okay, what'll happen is you'll create an order item and then we'll just take you to this quantity modal. And let's watch this live and then I'll explain some of the things about how this works. So if we go into our app, go to order now, select the pickup time, go choose an item, Okay, so let's choose ginger ale here. And you can see we have now have one item, okay? It's $1.99 and we can increase this and that will change the price respectively. Okay, we can also de decrease this. We could delete this if we wanted to, um, but we won't and we'll just say, okay. And now we can see the number of items here, okay? Now let's go and just double check that that, was, that worked for us. We'll go to our collections here. And we'll go to our order items. And you can see that we have six items here. Okay. Now let's talk about downstream impacts, okay? So first is you're, go you're going to need to update your app. If, if you have an app like this or you're using this exact one, um, if you're in the Nodalo course, um, you're going to need to update basically how all of your pricing and numbers work. And it's going to be pretty funky because uh, basically you just need to change all these to, be, to count the quantity of all the items in the order. Currently, we're only counting the order items. Um, and you'd want to change all the pricing here. And then you'd want to make sure that users, technically this doesn't prevent users from adding multiple items if they want to, um, because they could continuously go in and create loops. So you'd want to create a process to prevent users from doing that. But again, this is a very simple way for users to manage um, their orders and, uh, and the quantity of that order. So I hope that's helpful. If you like this content um, and it's helpful, please do give it a like. And if you want to see more tips and tricks, uh, definitely subscribe. If you like this video and my other videos on YouTube, we have a ton more content on our Adalo course called Nodalo. That's really where everything resides. Um, I think we have over nine and a half hours of content now on Nodalo. Um, it's... 75 videos, I think now. Um, so truly a very large resource for a dollar if you're interested in really learning the platform and, and everything that comes with it. So thanks. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments section.